السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ تعالی وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو امراتی عربک لرننگ سیریز اسپانسرڈ بائی العبیر لینگویج ٹریننگ سینٹر راسر خور دبئی ڈیئر فرینڈس ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از گوئنگ ٹو بی ہیلتھ ان انگلش لینگویج and we would like to discuss about some common phrases used in uh, Emirates in UA so please pay attention and just come with me here we go how can we say I'll meet you tomorrow in Emirati Arabic as we already discussed We can say Ashufuk Bachar Ashuf Ashuf means We have already discussed the meaning of Ashuf Ashuf means I'll meet I meet I see And also we can say I'll meet Ashufuk means I'll meet you Bachar Bachar means In the morning Or tomorrow Actually we have a word Bukra. Bukra is the word that is commonly used for tomorrow morning. But in Emirates, in uh, Emirates we will uh, l- hear, we will uh, listen to people often saying that Ashufak Bacha. Bacha means morning, tomorrow morning. That's the meaning of Ashufak Bacha. Now, I want to, in, in an important matter, if we would like to t- uh, say someone that uh, I want your presence or I want to discuss with you uh, about an important matter how can we say that particular thing in uh, Emirati Arabic Abik Abik fi mawdu dharuri Abik means I want you Abi Abba I already told you in the previous classes we have already discussed that Abba and Abba aruh Dubai Mall that means I want to go to Dubai Mall just like that Abik, Abik means I want you. Abik fi mawdu daruri. Daruri means in an essential matter. Mawdu means subject or matter. And daruri means in an essential matter. Abik fi mawdu daruri. Tell me and make me happy. Tell me. Gul. Gul is the usage uh, that we use here for tell me. It, it doesn't, uh, there's no um, specific word for me here. But we can use it for such a sense. Ghul. Ghul means please speak or tell. So Ghul. Make me happy. Farrihni. 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 Make me happy. Ghul farrihni. Tommini. Sometimes they use Tommini. That means make me happy. Just make me peaceful. I want the peace of mind. And now... How can we say search? There's a word in colloquial Arabic, in Gulf Arabic, there's a specific word. Adawar. Adawar means search. I'm always searching for the job that plays my standard. I'm always searching for the job. An adawar da'iman. An adawar da'iman. Ashigal ali kabir ismi. Ashigal ali kabir ismi. That plays my standard. Ali. Ali is. It's, it's actually Alladhi Alladhi yukabbiru ismi That raised my standard I'm always searching for a job Ana daiman adawar ashigal Alli yukabbiru ismi Alli yunasibini That matches me Alli yunasibini Al munasib li Fi ba'adu lahiyan nagul haqada aydan Al munasib li Ana daiman adawar ashigal Alli yukabbiru ismi I'm always searching for the job that raise my that uh, raise my standard that raises my standard okay I heard you I heard that you are living with your uncle I heard that I heard that you are living with your uncle how can we say in Emirati Arabic and samiat and samiat and samiat innak aish ma ammik innak aish ma ammik I heard, I heard we can say, and I 
there's no need of um, putting this and now but we can just put it it doesn't matter if you if we don't put it even if we didn't put it it's all, all right it's okay saying that samyat samyat annak aish ma ammik that means i heard that you are living with your uncle am am means uncle are you married are you married how can we ask this question are you married in emirati arabic in the mutazawwij in the mutazawwij if the same question is asked to a female to a woman then we can ask in the mutazawwij in the mutazawwij it's actually anta mutazawwij anta mutazawwij or hal anta mutazawwij fi fi fusha fi lughat al fusha naqul انت متزوج او هل انت متزوج ها هو هذا هو الاستعمال الصحيح ولكن في 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 اللهجات في الرمسه الاماراتيه نقول انت متزوج انت متزوج انت متزوج انت متزوجه انت متزوجه تو فيميل وي كان اسك ذس كويستشن انت متزوجه ذات مينز ار يو ميريد اند اف وي وونت تو ميك ذس سنتنس نيجاتيف ذن Anta mumu tzavich, anta mumu tzavich, anta. They they use anta for anta. They say anta. And for anti, anti means you. Uh, when we um, speak to a woman, uh, in standard Arabic we use in Emirati we use in anti. But here in Emirati Arabic they use they say anti, anta, anti. Anti mumu tzavich. Aren't you married? Aren't you married? Now, don't you have children? Children. For children, they they have a word that's real. La indak real. La indak real. Indak real means do you have children? Indak real. Indak we have already discussed. And here, la indak real. La indak real means don't you have children? You are the one with without children. That's the question. so they don't use this uh, adat istifham the um, the questions uh, for the questions we use hal uh, this kinds of adat adawat they don't use in uh, when they speak but instead of that they just uh, make the sentence an interrogative sentence just by asking it it like a question so from the uh, from there uslub from the style of asking we we understand that this is a question this is not a uh, a, 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 a common sentence it's not a an ordinary sentence but it's a an interrogative sentence and now this is what i need this is what i need how can we ask this question this is what i need in emirati arabic ma an hadha li atmanna wa an hadha li atmanna هذا اللي هذا اللي هذا اللي مينز هذا الذي هذا الذي اتمنى هذا الذي اتمنى وانا هذا اللي اتمنى مينز ذس از وات اي نيد اند اوفن تايمز وي نيد تو اسك ذس وي نيد تو سي ذس ان اور ديلي لايف وانا هذا اللي اتمنى حين ما يقول واحد ماذا تتمنى شو تتمنى ما تب شو تبا شو تبا حين ما يقول واحد Shoot the bar. As a reply of that, for that, for that, we say, "وَأَنَا هَذِهِ الْيَتْمَنَةَ وَأَنَا هَذِهِ الْيَتْمَنَةَ." Engineer, I'm happy because you are working with us in this company. Engineer, you are a mustanis. Yeah, mustanis. I'm a mustanis. I'm a mustanis. I'm a mustanis means I'm happy. I'm a mustanis. I'm a mustanis. Are you happy? Are you mustanis? Are you mustanis? And mustani is wide. Wide means very. There's a word wide. Wide means very. I'm very happy. We can say, and mustani is wide. In uh, Fusha Arabic, in uh, modern standard Arabic, we use, and farhan jidden, and farhan jidden, and masroor jidden, and masroor jidden. But when you speak uh, Gulf Arabic, they oftentimes, uh, mostly they use, and mustani, and mustani is wide, and mustani sa. If the person who speaks is a uh, female, she'll definitely tell you, "I'm a stanis." Yeah, my friend, this I'm a stanis. Liyanek ta'amil ma'ana. 
لأنك تعمل معانا معانا means with us معانا it's actually معانا معانا في الشركة أنا مستانس وايد أنا مستانس لأنك تعمل معانا في الشركة I'm happy because you are working with us in the company I have an idea how can we say this I have an idea in Gulf Arabic أنا عندي فكرة أنا عندي فكرة عندي فكرة also you can you can definitely say عندي فكرة I have an idea I don't want to hear your sound as it troubles me I don't want to hear your sound ما بي صوتك ما بي صوتك عشان صوتك يزعجني عشان عشان means عشان or عشان this means because عشان عشان لأن in modern standard Arabic we say لأن لأن صوتك يزعجني لأن صوتك يزعجني and for this we can say in Gulf Arabic عشان صوتك يزعجني أنا ما بي أسمع صوتك أنا ما بي أسمع صوتك لأن صوتك عشان صوتك يزعجني keep mum keep mum means be silent don't speak you should keep silence how how to say in Arabic uskut uskut sometimes they say jab wala kalima jab wala kalima means don't speak you should not speak you should keep silence that's the meaning of jab wala kalima uskut don't you know how to be silent don't you know how to be silent ma ta'arif tasqit ma ta'arif tasqit ما تعرفين تسكتي ما تعرفين تسكتين if the if you are the woman and ask the same question ما تعرفين تسكتين don't you know how to be silent can't you be silent اسكت جب ولا كلمة don't speak جب ولا كلمة listen me listen me so that you will not regret listen me so that you will not regret اسمعني اسمعني ما راح تندم ما راح تندم so that you will not regret ما راح تندم that's a usage that's a phrase just learn it as it is اسمعني اسمعني means listen me ما راح تندم so that you will not regret who is the one who needs you who is the one who needs you منو اللي يطالبك منو اللي منو منو means who it's in modern standard Arabic it's actually man we have learned that but in Gulf Arabic, in Emirat, they use no. No in the verb, if someone comes to our house and knocks on the door, you can definitely ask this question from inside. No in the verb, no in the verb, who is in front of the door, no. No in the toilet book, who is the one who needs you. What do you have? Tell me. What do you have? Surely عندك شو we already discussed شو شو means what surely عندك what do you have? قول قول tell me tell me what do you have? Surely عندك قول and now what's the mistake? What's the mistake? Surely غلط surely غلط غلط means mistake. Why is this mistake? Why is this mistake? Leish غلط هذا. Leish. Leish means why. For why we use leish. Leish. Leish ما سرت. Leish ما سرت. Why didn't you go? Leish ما سرت. أنا قلت لك سير. أنا قلت لك سير. I told you go. Leish ما سرت. Why didn't you go? So this is a common usage. Please come, take rest. Please come. Tafadl, istarih. Tafadl, istarih. Take rest. Take rest. For take rest, we can say istarih. Tafadl, istarih. And now we are the family members in a neighborhood. We are the family members in a neighborhood. That means we we live in the same place as neighbors, and we are just like family members. Ihna, ihna means nahnu. We. إحنا عيال إفريج واحد إحنا عيال إحنا عيال عيال means family we are one family إحنا عيال إفريج إفريج means neighborhood إفريج واحد إحنا عيال إفريج واحد that means 
where the family members were one family in a neighborhood and uh, children of rashid bin safe one the one who shall help them children of rashid bin safe one the one who shall help them iyal rashid bin safe yabghun ali yaabinhum iyal rashid bin safe yabghun يبغون اللي يعاونهم they want يبغون means they want اللي يعاونهم the one who shall help them who is ready to help them and uh, you are the one who wants to benefit you are the one who wants to benefit in the li tabi tastafid in the li tabi tastafid in the li tabi Antalladhi tabaghi tastafid That's the standard usage Antalladhi tabaghi tastafid Intalli Intalli tabi tastafid That means You are the one Who wants to benefit from Who wants to utilize Leave it Gone is gone How, how can we say this In uh, Emirati Arabic In modern In modern standard Arabic We can say Alladhi uh, hadath Qad hadath Like in في نفس الوقت at the same time we can say in uh, Emirati Arabic خلاص اللي راح راح اللي راح راح that means gone is gone what happened already uh, it, it's, it, it uh, just happened leave it اللي راح راح خلاص leave it اللي راح راح what shall you take me now suppose we are in a car and there's a driver and we don't know our destination he's uh, just uh, bringing us to some place and we don't know the destination we don't know uh, where is he driving to and where is he taking us to and we want to ask this question where shall you take me now where shall you take me now when bitawaddini ba'd when bitawaddini ba'd that means where shall you drop me i don't know where's the destination where are we going to so wine bit of dini bit of dini but this ba is used for making the uh, the sentence the verb a future tense uh, that we have we have already discussed in previous video wine bit of dini baad baad means after all where are you taking me now keep the key with you keep the key with you khalli khalli indak khalli indak it's a it's a very important usage khalli indak means just keep it with you we can say khalli milaf indak خلي المفتاح عندك خلي المفتاح عندك keep the key with you خلي الموبايل خلي الخاتف عندك خلي الكراسة عندك خلي الدفتر عندك خلي الأوراق عندك just like that we can say and we have the rights and we must get them fulfilled we have the rights we have the rights and we must get them fulfilled we want to take our rights How can we say it uh, Emirati Arabic? Nahn lana hugook. Nahn lana hugook. We have rights. Nahn lana hugook. Lazim na akhidha. Lazim. Lazim means we must. Lazim na akhidha. Lazim tasir. You must go. That's the meaning. Lazim tasir. Lazim na akhidha. We must take them. Your father was an employee of this woman. Your father was an employee of this woman. How can we say? Abu can mewallif. Abu can mewallif. Mewallif means an employee. Abu can mewallif and the hirma hadi. Hirma. They say word hirma for uh, speaking about females in common. Uh, in uh, Emirates, in Emirates, they use hirma. And for, uh, for man, Man, they use riyal. Hal riyal. A riyal means rajul. For rajul, they say riyal. And for al mar'a, they use hirma. Hadi hirmati. Hadi hirmati means this is my wife. Hadi hirmati. And hadha riyali. Hadha rayli. Hadha rayli means this is my husband. And khalli uh, walli. Leave it. Leave it. Khalli walli. It's Um, we all, all know this usage we have uh, heard it several times in uh, so this no need of making a long discussion or this khalli wali khalli wali means just leave it 
Rashid is not an employee. These words do not make sense. Rashid is not an employee. Rashid mub mubadlaf. Mub. Mub is used to make the sentence a negative sentence. Rashid mub mubadlaf. Mub mubadlaf means Rashid is not an employee. Aib hal kalam. Aib hal kalam means these words uh, do not make any sense. Your words do not make any sense. Literally, it doesn't make any sense. Aib hal kalam. And now, I'm the one who decides if you should go or not. I'm the one who decides if you should go or not. Anali akhd al kila qara. Anali agarra. Tasir walala. Anali agarra or anali akhd al qara. Tasir walala. Tasir walala. You should go or not. It will be decided by me. I have the authority. Anali agarra. Anali agarra. Anali the agarra. That's the standard usage. Anallahi akarrar. Halleke. Halleke antasirin. Or halleke antasir. Or alla tasir. Tasir wa lala. Tasir wa lala. Anallahi agarrar tasir wa lala. I'm the one who decides you have to go or not. And because I have a problem. Because I have a problem. Lian indi mishkila. Lian indi mushkila. Ashan indi mishkila. Ashan indi mishkila. That means because I have a problem. So, uh, so it's it's a it's not a complete sentence, but uh, it's a part of a sentence. It's part of a uh, a full sentence, and uh, we uh, use it sometimes because I have a problem. That's why I I didn't go or I couldn't complete that uh, project because I have a problem. Ashan indi mishkila. Mishkila means problem. I'll show you. I'll show you how to say. I'll show you. We do need this usage in our daily life. I'll show you. Ana baravik. Ana baravik. That means I'll show you. Ana baravik. And sometimes when they get angry, they say this. Uh, they use this usage. Ana baravik. Ya hamda. Ana baravik. Ana baravik. Ya hamda. Ana baravik. Hamda. I'll show you. I'll show you. That means I'll take action against you. If you do not listen to me, I'll take action against you. And now, did you see how did your brother behave me? Did you see how did your brother behave me? Shift, it's, it's a question to a woman. A woman asks another woman and... Uh, the question is, did you see how did your brother behave me? How did your brother behave me? The one, the, 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 the woman who asked this question is actually the, the wife of that man. That man she is talking about. And um, the other lady is actually his sister. And she asked to, to her sister-in-law, did you see how did your brother behave me? Shift. شفتي أخوت شو سوى فيني شفتي أخوت شفتي أخوت شو سوى فيني شو سوى سوى فيني شو سوى فيني means he has done something wrong with me شو سوى فيني have you noticed that شو سوى فيني شفتي أخوت شفتي شفتي means it's they don't use it شفتي it's they just say شفت شفت أخوت شو سوى فيني did you notice did you see how did your brother behave me Take me to my home. Take me to my home. What do you need? Buy tea. What do you need? Buy tea. And I'm about to see hell mechan. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go this place. What do you need? Buy tea. And I'm about to go to buy tea. And I'm about to go to buy tea. Alhin. I want to go my home. What do you need? Buy tea. Just drop me at home. At my home. And at last. In the beginning, he agreed. In the beginning, he agreed. How can we say this in Emirati Arabic, in a Gulf Arabic? Bidaya huwafuk. Bidaya. Bidaya means in the beginning. Bidaya huwafuk. Huwafuk means he agreed. In the beginning, he agreed. 
so we are just concluding here just uh, listen and uh, learn these contents i expect your positive and negative comments regarding my lecture series i also want you to subscribe my channel and uh, just press bell icon for more videos just uh, press bell icon thank you once again thank you for your continuous support motivation and uh, all kinds of uh, comments and support assalamu alaikum